Hello students, in this video we are going to prove that the total mechanical energy of a freely falling body remains constant throughout its fall. If a body is freely falling then throughout its fall its mechanical energy remains constant that we are going to prove in this video. So for that we are assuming that there is a body of mass m lying at some position at a height h above the ground because we have to show free fall. So we are assuming that there is a body of mass m lying at point a which is at height h above the ground. Now as the body falls its velocity increases that means its kinetic energy increases and at the same time that kinetic energy increases at the expenses of potential energy that we are going to show here. So as soon as the body starts falling as the body falls its kinetic energy increases at the expense of potential energy. So we are considering that this is the initial position A of the body of mass m where its velocity was 0. Okay, This was the velocity of the object at point A and the value on the position of this object A is at height h from the ground. Now when it hits the ground it will have some velocity let it be v dash and in between let us consider some general position or general instant where its velocity is v. So this value this general position we have taken at a distance x from height h then the remaining is this value is h minus x this is point b this is point c. So we have taken three positions of the object during the free fall first is its initial second it is somewhere at a distance x from the height h and third one is at the ground when the body hits the ground. So to prove that the mechanical energy remains constant throughout its fall we have to show the a value of kinetic energy plus potential energy at every point is same. So first we are starting from point A. So at point A kinetic energy of the body since the body is at rest there is no velocity. So kinetic energy of the body let it be Ka kinetic energy at point A since velocity is 0 so kinetic energy is 0. Now potential energy let it be Pa or you can also write it as Ua. I am writing it as Pa. Kinetic energy plus potential energy at point A is Mg and the height is H. So this is MgH. That means the total energy at point A means Ea is equal to kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A. This is equal to MgH. So this is the value of total energy of the object at height H or at point A. Now if we get the same result at all the points then we can conclude that the value of mechanical energy remains constant throughout the fall. So the next point we have is point B. So kinetic energy or kinetic energy at point B Kb is equal to half mv square. So now our task is to find the value of v. To find the value of v we are considering that the body is falling freely through height x the distance covered by the body is height x and since it is a free fall so it is happening under the influence of acceleration due to gravity. So I am going to apply third equation of motion here that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 g x okay 2 g x in this case and the initial velocity for this point initial point is a u is 0 that means v square is equal to 2 g x or v is equal to under root 2gx. This is the value at point b because x is the distance to reach to point b. So this is the velocity at point b. If we substitute this value here, so kinetic energy we get is half m and v square is 2gx or we can write it as mgx. This is the kinetic energy at point b. 
Now come to the potential energy at point B. So potential energy at point B is equal to mg and its height from the ground. So height of point B from the ground is h minus x. That means we have to put h minus x here. So now we can find total energy at point B which is equal to the sum of kinetic and potential energy at B. That means mgx plus mgh minus x. So if we solve this the term mgx will cancel out and the answer we get will be mgh which is same that we get at point A. That means at point A and at, po and at point B we get the same results for total mechanical energy. So let's see for the point C. At point C, first we have to find the velocity at point C. For that we are going to use third equation of motion. Now the distance that is covered by the body while coming from A to C is whole distance h. So it will be v square minus u square is equal to 2gh and u is equal to 0 which implies v square is equal to 2gh. Now this we are going to use uh, while finding kinetic energy at point C which is half m v square that means half m 2gh and we solve it then we get it is m g h. Now potential energy at point C is equal to m g and the distance from the ground of point C is 0 so its value will be 0. So total energy at point C is kinetic energy at C plus potential energy at C which is equal to mgh plus 0 that means mgh. Hence again we get the total energy is equal to mgh. So we conclude that as the body falls its potential energy decreases and becomes 0 at the ground and kinetic energy increases by the equal amount while the total mechanical energy at all points remains constant and its value is equal to mgh therefore the total mechanical energy is conserved during the free fall of a body we can also show this kind of variation on a graph if you want to plot a graph for this it will be this is height and this is on y axis we are taking total energy or energy so mechanical energy we want to plot the total energy remains constant throughout the motion total mechanical energy remains constant throughout the motion and its value is mgh so this point denotes the value mgh and this is the value which remains same at all points but kinetic energy is increasing while potential energy is decreasing when the height decreases or we can say that when height increases potential energy increases and kinetic energy decreases so if we start from zero and height is increasing so if height is increasing this increasing curve show the potential energy because potential energy increases during the increment of height and this decreasing curve show the kinetic energy so as the height increases potential energy increases and as it decreases potential energy decreases or as the height increases kinetic energy decreases that we know because at the highest point velocity is equal to zero so we can show it graphically like this total energy will remain constant at all the point but kinetic and potential energy are keeps on changing but their total or the sum is same so that's how we can prove the conservation of mechanical energy in a freely falling body that's all for the video for further videos stay tuned and keep studying thank you